Leo, thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. Uh, whatever strong Leo placements you may have in your chart. Um, and it's also going to include an extended posted over on Ribbon. Uh, the link will be in the description box below, along with the link with how to get a personal reading with me. Um, also in the description box below is a link for 10% off CBD products. Um, through my girl Cassandra, it's your CBD store, Brookline, along with some nutrition uh, ebooks and fitness books uh, by my girl Martina and 10% off um, the uh, greenwitchhome.com. So I'd love for you guys to head over there uh, if you need any products from those chickies. Um, and you can also check out my novel in the description box below if you would like. Um, there's a lot of information, including the names of all the decks that I use as well. Um, I should update that soon. I think I have a couple new ones. But for the most part, all the decks are listed there that I use. All right, guys. So let's do this. I'm going to just get right into this reading for Leo. I'm going to pull for two energies. You may resonate with either side. Um, take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Some may resonate. All may not resonate, though. Um, and if none of it resonates, then definitely check back next time. Or check your other placements, okay? All right, let's do this. Dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering the sacred space, so mo it be. All right, let's do this. Leo, my beautiful Leos. I'm a Leo rising in North Node myself, so I resonate with Leo energy. All right. Oh, here we go. Speaking of Leo energy, the sun. Enjoy success and happiness right now. This is our card. This is the Leo card. So uh, Leo got something good going on, and it's mainly because you've been making all the right moves, Leo. So I always forget to... i got to get closer to my mic. So Leo, you are absolutely making all the right moves so right now. Um, and it's going to lead to success and happiness, whatever it is that you're doing. And please don't mind my nails. I'm going to do them tomorrow. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, there's definitely an element here that like the rewards, the, the growth and, and rewards that you're getting and enjoy success and happiness. Those are two of the best cards in this whole deck. Um, that's amazing. Oh, that's too many, Spirit. Two or three, please, Spirit. Two or three. For Leo, I mean, that is just incredible. I almost want to end the reading there. You may have some anxiety considering how my cards are reacting. Ooh, be fearless and stand strong in the hermit. So uh, the hermit is retreat and recharge. So it looks like Leo has done a lot of work lately. Uh, or a lot of my Leos have been working really hard. And it is time to, to maybe, you know, take, um, take a break. Or if you do work really hard, maybe you don't need like a week's vacation, but you need to learn how to take more breaks, like little breaks, you know? Um, it does seem that, um, Leo, you may be a Leo Virgo cusper. Uh, there's something about you needing to be extra fearless right now, which is kind of easy for us. Um, you know, although I know quite a few cowardly lions out there. Uh, who seem tough on the outside and, and really, really just aren't. All right. Whoa, you could definitely be dealing with a Pisces or another water sign. Um, this person is keeping an eye on you, I'm getting. Um, they're very, very in tune to their, you know, their strong intuition. Very, very strong intuition. Whoa. There's something about them needing to let go of some stuff and them being a teacher in your life, Leo. So um, this is interesting. There's something about, you know, Leo needing to learn from this situation. Um, the let go of the need to be right tells me that the person on the other side may be holding on to some stuff that they shouldn't be. But that um, there's something about this person teaching you quite a bit. Now we'll see. Um, you know, I wonder if I want, I'm, I'm curious about this because the other three cards are pretty, pretty positive. And then you get that one, but 
You know, that's not a card that I haven't gotten myself that let go of the need to be right, you know? Ooh, Ten of Wands. All right, so Leo, a lot of you have been working very, very hard. Like, really hard. And you're going to have to, like, let go of some of the burdens here. Ooh, and do some healing. So a lot of my um, my Leos, you would definitely benefit from, like, a Reiki treatment or something like that. I do think that um, letting go of so many burdens and, and healing those, they're, oh, you definitely walked away from this person. Um, it does seem that uh, with the Eight of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the, yeah, you had to do a lot of healing after this, Leo. Um, and even w walking away from this relationship was definitely part of that healing. Whoa, Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords. It's almost like... Some Leos took a financial hit or, um, you know, there was something about you making an impulsive move. Um, you, Leo, may even be spying on this person. Some of you, Leos, may even be spying on this person. I'm struggling to interpret some of these, but it does look like, Leo, you've made some... You may have even... Oh... Some of my Leos may have impulsively broke up with someone or just dumped them. Um, and you may have, or maybe because of a financial hit. Leo, um, this has come up before in some of your readings for me that like maybe someone was stealing from you. I don't know. Was I, I don't know. Someone might have been stealing from you somehow. Or another, whoa, this person is really, really um, attracted to you, Leo. Um, it's funny. I'm getting, though, that a lot of this stuff doesn't have much to do with this person. Uh, Leo, you may just have a lot going on in your life with other things other than love. Um, and your partner is just all randy for you. I don't know. What's, what is this? Did, you, did, did Leo walk away from this person? Yep. Yeah, wow. Okay, so this someone you walked away from, Leo, that made you feel like crap, that is like just wondering how to get you back in their life. They want to they want to work with you. They want to be with you. Um, I'm really confused. Like why Leo? Yeah, oh, it ended. Oh, it definitely ended. This person wants you back, Leo. Uh, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius because uh, there's so much fire here. Uh, you could also be dealing with another Leo, um, Aquarius, Scorpio, or um, Taurus. So all the fixed signs. Um, well, there's a lot of cards, but I'm going to take them all reversed. Knight of Cups reversed. Chariot reversed, Four of Cups reversed, Knight of Pentacles reversed. Oh, my goodness. So this person, um, this person, I do believe, may have dumped you for somebody else, Leo. And it turned out to be a nightmare. They, they want to apologize, but they think it may be like, too late to apologize. It's too late. That's what I'm getting really strongly. It's too late to apologize. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And I do think that um, with this Page of Swords and this Knight of Swords, Leo, you have cut this person out, even though it hurt really badly to cut them out. You had to cut them out. Um, and, I mean... Or this person pushed you away and you, you ended up going. Uh, something like that. Whoa, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. So you're still heading towards victory, though, Leo. Six of Pentacles. So, okay, this is totally separate. But, Leo, you, you're you moving on to somebody else or something else. 
and something that's equal give and take, which this was not. Um, you've got, or you're just heading out on your own. Page of Cups. And you're feeling really emotionally kind of vulnerable right now. I would work on building yourself up, moving slowly, um, really getting to know any new people. Wow, Five of Pentacles twice? you got to work on your lack mentality. Um, there's something about, like, Leo taking a big financial hit. And... But I think this already happened, Leo. So um, I wouldn't... If this is something you already know about. This isn't a prediction. Um, I actually saved the predictions for a ribbon. So, or this person... Um, the person that you may have considered your twin flame or something like that, like really rejected you in a way that maybe you even started to reject the whole concept of it. If that's for you, if you feel like you're on that twin flame journey, um, there's an, there's an element of like starting over and, um, you having the people around you to help support you. You will be okay. Like you've got to, but you've got to work on um, manifesting from a place of lack. That's that's the place that, and it does look like you're gonna go from the five of pentacles to the four of wands. So you have something, and it happens very quickly. Whoa, the sun and the empress. They see you as an empress, Leo. They see you as just a really great mom. Um, you make them really happy or you made them really happy at one point. Um, I do believe that, you know, oh, Queen of Cups. Okay, so this person definitely had two different women or two different men in their life. Um, and I don't know. I don't know what this is, but this person feels like they lost an opportunity with you. Yeah, there it is. Like I said, there was a third party. Um, and there's this person made the wrong choice and they know it. Um, that sucks. You know, that does suck ass. King of Wands. Wow. That's you, Leo. So it's almost like, yo, know, you definitely could be dealing with two Leos. Definitely could be dealing with the Taurus. Um, the readings I do at night are always crazy. Wow. But unfortunately, I feel like they, they feel like they can't fight for this anymore. They truly can't. They feel like they can't fight for it anymore. Um, and it seems to me like, oh, man. Or you may have told them, don't ever come back around here no more. I mean, so... And I wouldn't blame you if they put you in Five of Pentacles energy. This person may have stolen from you, too. Or someone may have. Um, I'm not sure why I'm getting that so strongly. Um, let me pull a few more cards for here on uh, YouTube, and then I'm going to bring it over to Ribbon. So, but this is interesting. This is interesting. I mean, there's no very few majors here except for the sun. The sun is here a lot, and the empress... Well, majors all on their side. So it's almost like you were sort of completely out of control out of this one. Like it, you had nothing to do with it, really, like, which is strange. I mean, it's, it's almost like, well, <sighs> Leo, you choosing to walk away from this person had huge impact on them, is what I'm saying. Yep. Eight of Cups, indecision. Wow, the world and justice. You're going to get your justice once you fully end this connection with this person. You've got to let them go. But you, but some of my Leos are holding on to someone who they shouldn't be holding on to anymore. Um, it does seem that there is 
And this could be vice versa. If you're cross-watching for a Leo, you may resonate with this side more. Uh, a lot of Leo cards on that side, you know? So, but there, there is something about, like, once this is over, that's when the justice is going to come in. And um, I do believe this person has a lot of regret for what they did. But I also don't think that they're going to do much with that reverse seven of pentacles. Wow. Three of cups. Judgment. Oh, Leo. Oh, Leo. This person absolutely wants you back in their lives. They miss you. Um, I don't think you miss them the way... Even though you were in the Five of Pentacles twice feeling really rejected, I don't think the, like, I don't know. This person's definitely coming back around. Um, major Mercury and retrograde energy. But I think the justice will be you walking away again. Like, okay, so you may accept their apology if they're going to give you an apology. Um... Oh, man. Yeah, this person wants to come in and, and have a second chance, but they're, they're almost positive you're going to say no. Um, wow. He, they've got to heal their anxiety over all this because this person is up all night thinking about you, Leo. They are up all night thinking about you. And um, they want you back in their lives. They made some really bad choices. They chose the wrong people, something like that. Um, it does seem that, you know, this person, if they could have you back, they would. Um, but we'll see in the extended what's going to happen here. It does seem that you're focusing, I would focus on new love. Um, on someone brand new, not someone from the past right now, based on these cards. And even if this person from the past comes in, I'm not seeing that Leo is even sure they, they would want them back or is definitely sure they don't, or is absolutely sure they don't want them back. You could definitely be dealing with um, a Cancer, Aquarius, a Leo, um, Scorpio, um, another Leo, strong Leo, Leo all over that side. So um, this is interesting. But Leo, if anybody made you feel this emotionally shitty, um, they're probably not worth taking back, especially during a Mercury retrograde. All right. So let's see, um, you know, where this goes over on Ribbon. Thank you so much for watching me today, Leo. I love you guys so much. Take care.